from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Hey, welcome back into Channel 7 Daybreak. Today is Wellness Wednesday, and we're talking with Dr. David Gerson this morning from Sherwood Family Medical Clinic. And Dr. Gerson, today we're talking about the flu shot. It is that yeah. time of the year after September 1st. I've already gotten my reminder, actually, from Baptist Health saying September 1st, 2021. Important reminder, flu shot time. And it is something that can maybe get lost in the thick of things with the COVID-19 pandemic. But let's talk about why it's important to get both sure. of these vaccines today. Yeah, well, we'll focus on flu today, and, and we try to promote this every year because flu is deadly, and it's uh, not just for the elderly, but the children as well. Uh, in fact, it can be more problematic for our kids uh, and for young adults, and so that's why we push the flu shot, and we push it as early as we can. As soon as we get them, we're trying to give them out, and what's important is, and I had this earlier today, I had a patient say, oh, I'm going to wait until October, November, because I want it to last through the springtime. And, you know, conventionally, that was probably a good idea 20 years ago. Today, the flu shot actually we see has really good uh, immune properties that last for at least a year, maybe even longer. And people say, well, why don't we just, why do we have to do it every year? Because the flu does change, just like coronavirus changes, the flu changes. And so, no, getting a flu shot now would be the best time. Uh, and so don't wait, get them as soon as you can. Um, especially since Corona also can look like the flu. And so we want to have those shots on board because we know that flu shot is pretty darn effective. Can someone get the influenza virus and coronavirus at the same time? And if that happens, what kind of negative impacts could that have on somebody? So the, the question, if I'm hearing right, is can you get both? Can you get can you contract the flu and the Corona at the same time? Sure. Yeah. And. Would that mean that the coronavirus is going to be more serious or the flu is going to be more serious? Probably. Um, you know, we would uh, argue that. And there's no studies to provide this. It's just kind of anecdotal. We, we would suggest that, you know, this time last year, you know, you had a million flu cases rep reported to the CDC. Well, this time this year, you've got 120. Right. So what are we doing? We're probably diagnosing coronavirus, which is real. Um, the person is sick with it. Um, but they, you know. It could also be the flu as well. So yeah, you, you want to get both vaccines, and you want to get uh, and you want to get them as soon as you can. All right, and the best place to do that would be your local physician or any clinic. I know they're offered pretty widely available these days. Correct? Absolutely. You know, it's it's getting there. If you can't, there's no excuse not getting a flu. They're available everywhere. I will say that for folks that may have some special health issues, if they're pregnant, if they've got an egg allergy. If they've got questions, they're not sure whether they even need to get a flu shot, which we want to get a flu shot, you know, come see your doctor. Um, it, it's a good time if you haven't seen a doctor for a while to kind of reestablish and kind of get familiar with them again and, and make sure everything else is up to date as well. But, yeah, you can get it pharmacy, Walmart, Target, all those places. All right. Dr. David Gerson from Sherwood Family Medical Center, thanks again for your time this morning. If you'd like to get your flu shot scheduled, contact Baptist Health with the information on your screen. We'll see you next time, Dr. Gerson. Thank you. Sure.